let's build this app. Okay, this is the danger predictor where we analyze our environment. Um, we know where animals have been and what was the temperature out that day. What was the barometric pressure when that rattlesnake was biting that guy? What was the exact uh, location on the earth that uh, we saw these Gila monsters, a whole group of them? Were they, were they in your bedroom? We're going to feed this into machine learning models like neural networks, uh, decision trees, and k-nearest neighbors algorithms. So if you do encounter a bear, are you going to want to run uphill? Hell no. You don't want to run downhill as a human. You've got like little moves, little things you could do to get away from bears downhill. You can be like, uh, you know, bears, were, ooh, they could just tumble like that. Top heavy. You know, they could tumble over. Crabs going downhill. Cougars going uphill. Bam, 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 bam. Jellyfish. Going up current. Humans like. Bears uphill though. Humans uphill. For the observations. The class number. The genus. Panthera. Crotalis. Ursus. Eheloderm. And... What day of year was it seen from 1 to 365? The latitude. The long, longitude. The precipitation probability on the day of that observation. The previous day's precipitation probability. The max temperature. The barometric pressure at that time. What are these? You know, we got to know if... Oh, crap. Where am I? Check your Garmin. Am I at this location? Watch out. Bears. Okay, watch out. Kilo derma. Watch out. This worth the money, guys. With the imports flag set to yes, it activates the data utils API data class. Under this class is the iNaturalist API requests, which loop through the genuses and acquire the results, filling up an observations array. These observations are then converted into data point objects. And the next thing that happens is the weather API. It takes all of these data points and parses them into the dark sky weather forecast API. It also subtracts some days from the current observation to get the previous day's weather, because if you don't know what it's been, you don't know where they're going to be. With all of this data collected, data frames and pandas are made and saved to a CSV file in the data folder. When you're calling a prediction for today's data, the data is passed into the weather API, because you can't just look outside and write down what kind of weather it is. This is then passed into a pre-trained model and the output of the class probabilities is presented for what animal may be biting you today. If you're training, the collected observations are passed into your chosen model for training. For the neural network model, for example, the parameters for this, including the size and layers and things like dropout, the optimizer chosen, are in a config.json file. I've hardly done any tuning yet. In fact, I have done a little bit of tuning. And I produce a model with 89% accuracy. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, man. You yeah, pull this thing up anytime you want. It'll just be like, what's going on, guys? The average Gila monster lives in Arizona and doesn't have... Any friends? Let's train it. Training, teaching, today. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be all rattlesnakes in my neighborhood. All rattlesnakes in my neighborhood. All rattlesnakes in my neighborhood. What's going on under the hood? Look at these class validation accuracies. For Ursus, Pantera, Eloderma, y Crotalus. Look at this confusing matrix. 90% of the bears that it the algorithm has never seen before. It correctly predicted them as bears. Look at how many times it guessed incorrectly. How many points exactly? Look at this. 
Oh my gosh. What's going on? Bam, 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 bam. 3,659 points. Let's see. Do I have this training saved here? My area under the curve this time was 98. Here's the training. It took a few hours to go 3,000 epochs. Let's look at what was put into it. Well, I started. You, you start by importing to get the observations you want for your genuses. I put a max observation of 1,000. Training started. Validation accuracy slowly increased. 60. Oh my gosh, 70, 80. After just 100 epochs, it is way up there. And then it trains. Tit for tat. Da 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 da. Stuck at 88, 89 most of the time. Bam. It hits 90 once in a while. Incorrect. 73 out of 686. Of Maybe we should dive into the models a little bit. Here is the A our artificial neural network class. And da -da. it simply builds it with the configuration, compiles it, trains it, and you could run testing. And this is some of the custom material I put in here for calculating the area under the curve. You know what? I'm just, I'm not really that scared of these these animals anyways so next time let's find some cute cute guys i mean animals cute animal guys all right well thank you guys for paying attention and let's move on